let's just cut to the chase, folks. I'm going to show you how to get more flavor from your jerky. Not only are you saving money, but I am showing you two different methods. One in the house, no dehydrator is needed. It's right in the oven. And the other out here on a smoker. We're blending all that great flavor. Come on, I'll try to keep the pups off of it till you get here. What do you think, pups? <laughs> Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard and whoo, what a glorious day it is. And guess what? Y'all been asking for it. Mm-hmm. Some more jerky. More jerky? Y'all didn't know we had jerky to begin with? Oh yeah, we went back a long time back. But folks, we're going to add to it this time. We're going to give you a little bonus. What? A bonus smoke jerky video. Now I'm going to walk you both through all both recipes. But hey, this is a great way to preserve meat. And do you see what we have Shan making noise all over the set here? Hey, Zoe, that is not a water bowl. This is a great way you can preserve meat, save money, and hey, hunting season's coming up. I sure do like me some deer jerky, elk jerky, antelope, whatever you got, it will work, folks. And mm, that stuff will break the bank when you go to the truck stop or the general store to get some. But this is an easy way to do. Takes a little time with the marinade, but ooh, it is so good, it is. So let's talk about the different cuts of meat that you can use for this. Now I've used a little bit of everything, but I like to use that arm roast or something that's got that big old shoulder clawed to it to where you can slice it thin. But guess what, if you ain't got a slicer, I need you to put that thing in the freezer. Yep, you heard me for about an hour. Let it sort of set up and chill. You'll be able to slice it so much thinner as you've seen me do. Make sure you trim off the excess fat of anything that's on there because fat does what to jerky? It'll make it spoil. So trim all the fat off you can, slice it thin so they're uniform, you have an even cook time, and let's mix up that marinade. So we got some soy sauce, Worcestershire, liquid smoke, what? Yeah, liquid smoke. They make hickory, they make mesquite, they make natural. I do love the mesquite flavored, and that stuff is stout. Now, anytime you're using liquid smoke, you ain't got to use a lot of it to get that flavor out of there. When you get that in there and get it to go in, you can be using some, what? Onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, some of that Red River Ranch original, but always add you a little salt, little pepper in there, get that stirred up really well and mix it. We done cut that meat and let's get it all in there. Take your hands. It don't take a lot of marinating. I just want to get it all coated in there and let it get them flavors. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set it in ice box. Ice box, you say? Mm. Yep, a lot of folks still question me on that. All you people that's been watching a long time, you know what that is. That is a refrigerator, yeah. Put it in there, let it sit covered at least six hours. I like to go overnight because it's going to give it so much more flavor. This is the no dehydrator jerky recipe and guess what? It is in the cookbook. Page 73, I think it is, no dehydrator jerky. Yes, it is. And if you ain't got that, there'll be a link pop up there or down there somewhere to where you can say, hey, I want this. It will help you out, folks. It will. So go over to that oven knob, Pew! preheat 180. Yep, you heard me. It don't take much heat to be cooking no jerky. But I don't want you to make a mess in there. I don't. Line that rack with aluminum foil. Now, I want you to take that jerky out there and lay it on the rack and make sure that it's straight. No wrinkles, no folded over, nothing. You want it to be flat and straight. Place them on there. Slip it in the middle rack and you're going to shut the door. But guess what? We got to have a little air circulation because I don't want it to sweat in there. Take you a pot holder. Set it right in the edge of that door to where it just got just a little airflow that can get in there. And I'm going to tell you folks, in about an hour, you'll be having the best aroma in there in the kitchen. Mmm, it smells so good. So after you get that in that oven, you got the door cracked. I need you to let it cook an hour and a half. Because remember, we got foil down there on one side to keep it from making a mess down there in the bottom of that oven. So we're actually going to have to flip that meat over at an hour and a half. Because this is a three hour cook time at 180 degrees. Well, folks, that is the walkthrough, the basics of the no dehydrator jerky in the house. But hey, we out here in God's creation in Mother Nature's kitchen. And remember what we're going to talk about? Smoked jerky, the one that I love. I mean, this stuff brings out so much more flavor and it's easy. You just got to walk off and leave it. That's about all you have to do. So guess what we got here? Knitting needles. Knit one, pearl two. Is that how it goes, Shan? Ain't you a knitter? Folks, I want you just to take them out of there 
and I just want you to thread them on here like so you just need to make sure that you get them on there and you got to leave you some air space in between them this is going to allow it to hang in that pit barrel and get more flavor I think than just laying it on a rack so let's get them all threaded on there I have preheated that pit barrel y'all seen me do it it didn't have much coal in it because folks it don't take much to cook some jerky it don't well it, we have got our fire going there it is about ready to go we're going to add one stick of hickory it ain't a real big one but it's there and some of that there dried mesquite that was left off them leftover spatulas that'll be coming soon to a website near you to where you can get yep some mesquite chunks so just arrange them in there these are dry but we are going to add some wet ones to it here when we get to going and there's not much there ain't much heat in there so we got them spaced out there ain't nobody touching nobody else social distancing is happening right there in it it is we got dry wood chips in there which are going to catch and make some smoke immediately but we got some soaked mesquite here and i just need you just to wring the water out of them just a little about two little handfuls put them down in there put them right over there on the fire all it needs now is a lid now if you was thinking you didn't have one of these kind of little smoker setups apparatuses like this pit barrel is you can do this on about anything you got but you might need you a temperature gauge because we're going to try to run about 170 to 180 along there maybe a little more and it's about a two hour cook out here because we're getting that circulating heat to cook both sides at one time now if you're doing this on a regular conventional grill there indirect heat is what you'd be needing just slide it all down there to one end and still folks we ain't talking about much heat just layer off down there on one end put your meat out there but still just like that recipe in there in the house you may want to come out here in about an hour and a half and just rotate that meat back over on the other side well we've been on about an hour we have so we're going to add just a small little token of some more mesquite wood Be this is just wood it ain't jerky yet buddy let her keep right on smoking let me see we are at 175 according to my hand i guarantee you you put a gauge in there it's awful close i've been around a lot of fire so about another hour on this will be good we just got through flipping that in the house which had been on an hour and a half let it dry remember you got to vent that door in the oven and whew, the pups are getting restless because they do love some jerky Well, it's a done deal, it is. Hey, just took three hours in the house and two hours out here. But also, that's according as to how do you like your jerky? If you like it a little crispier than I do, you're going to cook it longer. But I like this stuff when you bend it, it don't break. Some of that stuff is so dry that when you try to bend it like that, it'll break in two like a piece of brittle, peanut brittle. Uh huh. And that stuff's hard on your teeth. I like it to have a little chew, sure but I like for it to be a little tender. Now, this one you can definitely see has a richer, redder color and that smoke penetration has got in there versus this one in the oven. Now, it's your preference as to how you like it, but I like these because they got so much more flavor to them that that smoke brings out and that smoke penetrated in there a long way it did. Now, we had a special guest down here today. It's Duke's girlfriend, Zoe. Come on, come on, Zoe. Come on. Zoe is big enough to eat 45 pounds of jerky. I don't know where Duker went. Here you go. Here comes Duke. Says, hey, showed up just in time to have a bite. There's yours and yours. And for my helper that's always here, thank you big so much. Tail wags are really going today. They are because they do love some jerky.
Mm. So much flavor. Now taste mm. the other one and tell me like the difference you taste. Is the consistency about the same? Yeah, but you can definitely see the difference in the color as to what the right. smoke will bring to it. So. Make you want to jerk. Make you jerk some more and some more. Whoop. <laughs> but like I told you, how do you like your jerky to be? A little crisper, cook it a little longer. But when you pull this, even off the smoker and out of the house, I want you to let it dry a good hour before you even do anything to it. Now, if we're going to store this, it has to dry properly. Sure, we have done cured this meat out, cooking it or smoking it, either one. But for long-term storage, I like to put mine in a Ziploc bag, wrap a paper towel in there, put it in there, shut it, try to get most of the air out of it. You can freeze this stuff whew, for a long, long time. But folks, I guarantee you, this won't sit around the house more than about a day. It'll be gone. It will. You can also store it in one of them glass jars that's got the good vacuum seal lid. You just clamp her down there. But just make sure it is dry before you even attempt this. I just want to thank y'all so much for tuning in because we never take it for granted that y'all watch our videos. And hey, it's a great day above the grass every day. It is. As always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and the veterans who have kept that old flag flying on camp wherever me and Shan and the pups might be. And say you're a new viewer and you just got here. Hey, we are so glad to have you come in here for a hug. If you're nice, so give me a bite of jerky, I will. And we thank you all for tuning in. So as always, God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the smoked jerky or the oven no dehydrator style trail. I forgot, ready? If you folks thought we might have been having an earthquake, that was Zoe's tail hitting the stationary camera. So, because she is a big one. She is. That was Shire.